there she is in all her glory. It is as done as we're going to get it for stage two. So let's take a look at her. Now I feel I must warn you before you get a glimpse at her. I am not a master porter. <laughs> this is rough. All right, it, it's not, uh, it's not, you know, somebody else would be able to do a way better job than I did. Let's just put her that way, right? And it's not completely smooth, and there are some areas that could definitely be touched up. But I feel this is good enough for the test, because, uh, well, I'll, I'll get into it, but trying to do all this was a complete pain in the ass for one major reason which we'll yeah i'll get into here um so without further ado here it is ta-da look at her that is well completely different from what it used to look like in it uh I feel like it's got a really nice kind of... It, it's, for the most part, symmetrical, right? Got nice radius entries going on in here. Now, you'll notice I added more JB Weld right here, and I made ribs uh, going up to the booster bodies themselves. I did that on top, and I also added some JB Weld... Oh, focus down at the bottom of the boosters too and i just tried to you know taper it in and make it you know nice and smooth and you know as much as i can right i'm hoping that these ribs are going to redirect airflow down into the boosters is the plan uh to well get good booster signal right there's the boosters right there. Check it all out. Now you'll also notice that we got this rope of JB Weld around the perimeter. And I've gone ahead and made dimple, golf ball dimples, on these areas here. And along this area here. Right? All over the way around. Now the golf ball dimple does... Well, two things. One of them's good, one of them can be bad, depending on where you're putting the dimples. Essentially, each one of these little dimples is going to catch some air, and it's going to create a little eddy. A little, you know, little spot where the air gets captured, right? Then the incoming air will flow over top of that air, right? See what I'm saying? Essentially, air on top of air is a whole lot slicker than air on top of just a rough, you know, a regular surface. Air flows over itself a whole lot, you know, it less friction than air along a, an actual surface. So we did that here and here because these are going to be dead areas. Uh, I mean, there's nothing for air to flow into. We want air to flow by that and down into the venturi bores and along this lip because again we want air to flow over top of it really nicely right and down into the venturi bores we did not put them down the venturi bores though because because there's a layer of air surrounding these dimples it essentially makes the actual area smaller so if we like dimpled all the way around here Yes, you would have a slick pocket of air surrounding here. The air can flow down easier. But you're essentially limiting the size of the opening. Now, up here, it doesn't matter because, well, it's as open as possible, right? So we can dimple top up here, no problem. But going down into here, we didn't want to constrict our venturi bore size, so we didn't do that down here. And, again, we flared out the bottom of the booster, right, like we said before. And I added that little bit of JB Weld down there at the bottom, uh, below the booster tube, just to try to make everything nice and streamlined. Uh, 
clearly I could have done a way better job at that, but for reasons I'll, you know, get into, that's the best I could do. I mean, that's, you know, pretty much everything we did. Uh, I mean, besides that, right, we drilled and tapped the actual accelerator pump circuit so that we can change the size or uh, really flow rate of the accelerator pump here instead of changing out nozzles. And it's hard to tell, but I gave plenty of room for those discharge nozzles right here to actually shoot down in there. So that's all uncovered and not obstructed in any way. Uh, also the air bleeds, remember we were talking about air bleeds and we covered them all up here. Uh, I am going to put the air bleeds in the metering block or alternatively I can take these holes here because this is where it meets up with the metering block and I can essentially you know kind of take it out here take this one out here and JB weld the side over here and actually put the air bleeds in the side of here right uh, there's many different ways in which we could go about this. Oh, also, I'm going to JB weld. If this was going on a car, I would JB weld this area here to give this a better uh, uh, mating surface with the gasket. See what I'm saying? Uh, but this is our flow test mule. So this is we're most concerned about what it flows on the flow bench. Uh, not too concerned about what it would do on an actual car, but just making sure anything we do up here we can justify because we've traded this out and we've addressed the air bleed situation. Allergies are in full swing, so if my voice sounds weird, that's why. Oh, yeah, no, by the way, not allergies. I got fucking COVID. I can't smell or taste anything, and I feel like death, so... I've been fucking bedridden for like three days. <laughs> oh, that's why it's taking so long to get the video out. I just don't feel like it. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what we got going, right? She's done. I mean, it's done enough to actually send off to have it flowed. Uh, now, you'll notice that there's some voids and uh, other kind of rougher areas in this JB weld that could be smoothed out, you know, filled and smoothed out. We're, I'm not going to spend that much time doing it. Uh, I, it it's, it's good enough to send to go get flowed. We're going to get the gist of it. Uh, I tell you what, though. This has been a major pain in my rear end. For one major reason. Getting the JV Weld in here, I can't get my fingers around these boosters to actually put the JB Weld in. This is a stick weld because, you know, obviously I couldn't really do this too well with the liquid weld. So I needed, you know, putty, essentially putty weld. Uh, and going down in here, trying to get it stuck to the walls and get every nook and cranny around these boosters has been a nightmare and porting it porting it around the boosters also a nightmare uh i'm not gonna lie to you i've touched the boosters a couple of times with the old burr so it's not uh it, it's got a little a few ning dings and uh nicks in some of the boosters uh what do you do, right? Uh, <laughs> I think we got a good enough example. That, you know, we, we got the basic gist, right? I mean, look at that. It looks like it should flow pretty good, doesn't it? Boy, I think so. I mean, guy, it looks pretty slick to me. And remember, we want to do the velocity stack test with his old velocity stack, old style velocity stack. And then the new style. And I made sure that. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get. Oh, there we go. There we go. And look at that. If that doesn't scream flow, 
I don't know what does. But, you know, everybody, place your bets. What's it going to do? Tell me in the comments section. Are we going to actually gain a bunch of CFM? Last time, when we did, like, bare minimum half-ass effort stuff, just the very basics, we picked up 84 CFM. I, I have my doubts that we're going to pick up as much this time around. But you never know. I mean, it does look pretty slick. Uh, we still have the 600 base plate. Okay. We're going to get have it flowed, figure out what this combination does. Then, step three, we'll do the 750 base plate. Okay. Go straight to the 750, float again. Then we'll uh, be on to step four. And step four, we're going to, uh, well, I, I got plans. And it's going to be, it, we're, we're going to do some stuff, all right? But that's kind of it for now. I mean, that's, that's the update video. There it is. That, that's, that's what it looks like. I, I can see you, right? Looks pretty snazzy do say so myself but yeah like i said that's our flow test tool i have an idea uh everything we figure out with this right by the time this project gets done and we've done all that we want to do with it i might come through with uh this bad boy and we might do it this is a 750 uh brawler yeah brawler main body 750 we might take everything we learn from that apply it to this and actually put this one on a car and uh you know see what it does right uh so that's going to be the future, future, future. But first, we got to figure out what exactly works and doesn't work. And, you know, this is going to get shipped out sometime this week. So, sometime this week, my ass, I ain't doing a fucking thing until I feel better. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's, I feel like I'm fucking two feet, one torso, and bo both hands in the grave. This sucks. You know, we'll see what happens, right? But, I, I guess that's it. Well, kind of a short one today, but I'm, I'm sick. So, I need a break, right? <coughs> oh, you're sick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wish I felt like you fucking did, guy. Jesus Christ. Give it about 15 hours. Then you'll know what the fucking sick feels like. Okay, catch you next time. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Is it going to pick up booster signal? Is it going to lose booster signal? Pick up CFM, lose CFM. Lose CFM, gain more booster signal. You know, what, what do you think is going to happen? We're about to find out.